In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, during this time of severe test and trial for the whole diocesan family, we turn to you. As we reflect on your passion and death, help us to learn from you how to respond to the challenges we face at this time. Help us to deepen our trust and faith in you. May we be united with all who suffer at this pandemic time and with all those who are helping others carry their crosses. Guide us, Lord, in your ways. Purify us, Lord, in your love. Heal us, Lord, in your mercy. Lead us back into your light and truth. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Then Pilate saw that he was making no impression, that in fact a riot was imminent. So he took some water and washed his hands in front of the crowd and said, I am innocent of this man's blood. It is your concern. As a guard, I have been ensuring that people are observing restrictions and watching out for vulnerable members of the community. Have we ever washed our hands as often in these pandemic days? Every time we touch something which could have been infected by another's touch, we wash and wash again. Pilate washed his hands as a gesture of dismissal and denial, that he wants nothing more to do with Jesus, that he bears no responsibility for all that would follow. But we bear responsibility by washing our hands out of love and concern for others. But maybe, just maybe, we haven't always been as vigilant as we could or should be. And perhaps we too share some of Pilate's guilt. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. At that, Pilate handed him over to them to be crucified. They then took charge of Jesus. And carrying his own cross, he went out to the place of the skulls, or as it is called in Hebrew, Golgotha. My name is Annie Maher, and this is my husband, Joe, from Carlow Town. Both of us tested positive for COVID-19, but thankfully we recovered well. Jesus, the carpenter who knows how to craft wood and reveals his inner beauty, receives a rough splinter truck of wood, hacked down and hewn without any craft or care. The virus has no concern for its victims. It spreads ferociously at every opportunity. Just like our human greed and sin, which is true burden, which Jesus takes upon his shoulders. So many doctors, nurses, medical professionals and members of the emergency services are willing and risking their lives to save others at this time. This is heroic path. It is the path which Jesus walks for us. Will we walk this path with Jesus? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The third station, Jesus, falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus replied to them, Now the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. And in all truth I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains only a single grain. But if it dies, it yields a rich harvest. My name is Evan Coughlin, Malna Parish in County Kildare. I was meant to sit my leaving cert exams last summer and also missed out on our class Debs. We are on our knees pushed to limits most of us have never experienced before. Families, healthcare systems and economies all stretch to breaking point. We are naturally afraid of being weak and vulnerable. We like to be in control, to be comfortable and secure. But Jesus shows us that there is grace in weakness, that we only really open ourselves up to the sufferings of others when we experience our own vulnerability and the closeness of death. The only way to raise up others is for ourselves to fall beside them. Perhaps for too long, too many of us have been passive bystanders in the crowd, watching at a distance the suffering, daily struggle for survival of so many in our world, without ever really being touched by their pain or moved into action. But now we are all united in this danger. There is no more them and us. The virus has brought us all to our knees. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.